Right now, there is a tremendous need for innovative thinkers in the green energy field. If you're looking for a career change or you're heading off to college, you might consider going green. Joining us now to talk about that is Dr. Eric Woodruff, founder of ProfitableGreenSolutions.com, and Rusty Hodap, the Sustainability Vice President at DFW Airport and the current president of the Association of Energy Engineers. Thank you both for joining us. Thank Rusty, you, Vanessa. <laughs> Rusty, let's start with you. What exactly does that association do? Well, the Association of Energy Engineers' uh, mission is to promote the educational and scientific interests of those involved in the energy industry and to foster sustainable development. We're in our 32nd year. We're over 9,000 members in 77 countries. And you guys are both members of this organization. That's right. Um, and I believe that's something rare to have two, you're the president, and to have somebody else um, in the same state? That's that's probably true. Eric is the uh, secretary. He'll be the president-elect next year, so he'll be succeeding me in two years, and that probably is true. So let's talk about this field. You know, people, so many people are getting laid off nowadays. Mm -hmm. Other people are getting ready to head off to college and think about what career they want to go into. Sure. It, is this a field with a lot of growth? Well, I think undoubtedly. Uh, certainly there's been a lot of press lately. Um, there's uh, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act has $26 billion allocated to energy uh, efficiency. The Obama administration's energy plan proposes to invest $150 billion in clean energy over the next 10 years. And one interesting thing came out of the association uh, recently in a survey of its members uh, where we found that 72% of our membership believes that there will be a shortage of qualified professionals in the energy efficiency and renewable energy field in the next 10 years. And even more interestingly, 41% of those same members plan to retire within the next 10 years. So obviously this is a, a big problem. Do you, do you see this as a potential, you know, such a shortage? Absolutely. And, and, and it's, it's not confined just to this particular field. It's consistent with what the U.S. Department of Labor is forecasting, where they, they in their most recent labor outlook, uh, they, they are forecasting 68% of total jobs required to be filled by 2016 will be replacement jobs. So when you couple all of the activity, the policy um, uh, and interest in green and energy, uh, clearly this is a growth field. So Eric, let's, let's talk about the kind of careers people can go into with this and what kind of training is available. Well, what's great is the show, you know, you guys are talking about those kids and the not doing the limo and we're really in the professional group of what those kids might do in five or ten years and uh, there's a lot of really good training programs out there one of the ones that the association does is called the certified energy manager program and it's been around for just about 20 years it's trained about 10,000 people worldwide and uh, it's very practical very pragmatic ways to save energy in everyday building operation and people who have that designation are getting jobs left and right we personally I get a request about every week. Do you know where a CEM we can hire? So it's a very, very attractive, uh, you know, certification to have. Another one is the Carbon Reduction Manager Program, which is very hot right now as well. Both those programs are growing at over 200 percent in attendance and people taking the test uh, compared to last year to the year before. But even with that, we still won't fill the void of 40 percent of the whole industry retiring. So. It, you know, you're looking at a, a huge industry, a growth industry, where a lot of people are leaving the industry, and there's this huge void of in-demand jobs with certification. It could be very, very lucrative for, for young people and young professionals. So if people are in school right now, you know, they don't know what their major is going to be, they're halfway through, I mean, is it too late for them, or are there things that they can do to get involved so that they can participate? Well, like the last lady said, it's never too late. <laughs> um, I was a physics major and ended up going into engineering because it really uh, worked for me. But, you know, there are people, history majors, there's people, sociology, communications. We need everybody because we need all skill sets beyond just engineers to be tackling these problems. These are huge problems we're facing, and uh, it's a very exciting time. And so we just wanted, you know, to make sure that people know that there are professional certifications out there that people can get trained and when they do that they're going to be very very valuable to employers well thanks again for both of you being here today it's certainly important to get the word out especially about jobs in this economy so thanks again thank, thank you, thank you.